The US Navy has been submitting patents in recent years that seem to depict technologies that are literally from science fiction movies. These patents range from a compact fusion reactor to a hybrid air underwater space vehicle that can travel at incredible speeds in every environment. These out-of-the-world technologies are mostly led by Dr. Salvatore Pais, who is an American aerospace engineer and inventor, currently working for the United States Air Force. If you're not familiar with these patents or his work with the Navy and the Air Force, then this video is a must-watch to get yourself up to date. Is the Navy on the verge of taking a giant leap into the future, or is this perhaps just a strategic misinformation program to confuse US adversaries? Well, let's find out, so without further ado, let's get plugged in. Hello and welcome to EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. Today we are going to deviate a little bit from our usual topics to bring your attention to technologies that are seemingly out of this world. While this is more about technology and less about electric vehicles, it's the kind of technologies that could impact the things we take for granted in a way we haven't seen before, if this turns out to be true. These technologies could certainly affect the way we use transportation and power our electric vehicles today. And by the way, these patents are publicly available and I will leave a link to each of them below in the description. Some of the patents go hand in hand, meaning one wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the other one. And you'll see in just a bit what I mean. Documents released through the Freedom of Information Act contain hundreds of pages about the Naval Innovative Science and Engineering, basic and applied research program and the tests, photographs and other related material associated with it. Dr. Pai's inventions are enabled through quote-unquote Pai's effect, a theoretical physics concept that is based on the quote, controlled motion of electrically charged matter from solid to plasma via accelerated spin and accelerated vibration under rapid yet smooth acceleration deceleration acceleration transients. As a result, according to Dr. Salvatore, incredibly powerful electromagnetic energy fields can quote engineer the fabric of our reality at the most fundamental level. This can lead to revolutionary changes in power and propulsion, quantum communications, energy production, and of course weaponry. But let's face it, pretty much anything can be weaponized if in the wrong hands. Just keep that in mind as we move ahead. The more something impacts society in a positive way, it can also be used to do harm. So what is the Navy's potential use for these inventions? Here's how their documents explain this. Imagine our Navy's ships, submarines, aircraft, and Marine Corps armored ground vehicles being powered with safe, reliable, virtually limitless fusion energy. Imagine the power of the sun confined in a compact, relatively small space. With the plasma compression fusion device, this figment of imagination becomes a tangible reality. The present invention can produce power in the gigawatt to terawatt range and higher with input power in the kilowatt to megawatt range and possibly lead to ignition plasma burn. Under uniquely defined conditions, the plasma compression fusion device can lead to the development of a space-time modification weapon, which could make the hydrogen bomb seem more like a firecracker in comparison. So is there potential for commercial use? Well, absolutely. They claim to have a design of thermonuclear fusion reactor for commercial electricity generation, the design of fusion-driven aircraft jet engines, and the design of fusion-induced intergalactic space drives. Sound far-fetched? Well, <laughs> you're not alone. But if you look at our history, many things we take for granted today were science fiction not too long ago. Things like the nuclear bomb, airplanes, the internet, small computers and mobile phones were all seen as science fiction. Just because we don't understand something or something seems out of the realms of possibility doesn't mean it doesn't exist or cannot exist. New discoveries wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for individuals accepting that we don't know everything about our universe and being open to new ideas. One person particularly that comes to mind is Nikola Tesla, who I've admired almost my entire life. An entire video can be devoted to discussing his inventions, but I'll leave that for another time. The United States Secretary of Navy is listed as the assignee on several radical aviation technologies patented by an aerospace engineer working at the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division headquarters in Patuxent River, Maryland. Last year, the publication of several unusual patents assigned to the US Navy raised eyebrows due to the seemingly radical and unconventional claims found within them. These patents included bizarre technologies such as, quote, a high-temperature superconductor, a high-frequency gravitational wave generator, a force field-like electromagnetic field generator, a plasma compression fusion device, 
and a hybrid aerospace underwater craft featuring an inertial mass reduction device. They truly sound like the stuff of science fiction and seem to describe the theoretical building blocks of a craft with UFO-like performance. The hybrid aerospace underwater craft claimed to be capable of truly extraordinary feats of speed and maneuverability in the air, water and outer space, thanks to a revolutionary electromagnetic propulsion system and inertial mass reduction device that according to the patent eliminates all inertia. In other words, it allows the craft to accelerate and decelerate or make sudden turns without the occupants inside the craft feeling any g-forces. They describe this as sort of a bubble or a force field around the craft that cancels any external forces such as the atmosphere around the craft. For something that uses such high energy would need superconductors that don't melt when transferring the energy from one part to another. This is where the high temperature superconductor pattern comes in handy. I know this sounds like the stuff of science fiction. A primary patent examiner at the United States Patent and Trademark Office thought so too. But then the chief technical officer of the Naval Aviation Enterprise personally wrote a letter addressed to the examiner claiming that the US needs the patent as the Chinese are already investing significantly in these aerospace technologies that sound eerily similar to the UFOs reported by Navy pilots in now well-known encounters. By now, you're hopefully familiar with the declassified Pentagon video that shows Navy pilots following an unknown flying craft. This raises the question, are the Chinese developing or even already flying craft leveraging similar advanced technology and is the Navy now scrambling to catch up. Meanwhile, some scientists and physicists have made it clear that they find the claims largely absurd and not grounded in scientific fact. At the same time, there is in fact many decades of government research into similar technologies that are very much alike in concept to some of Pi's work. As such, while these are obscure ideas and remain on the edge of science, they are not exactly brand new. The bizarre saga of the US Navy and its sudden willingness to admit that its personnel regularly encounter unidentified objects in the skies keeps getting stranger. Why the sudden shift in policy? What is the motivation for disclosing these encounters for the public? News outlets of all types have for months been discussing the matter, yet we still don't know exactly what is actually happening here. Clearly, the narrative is being carefully controlled by the Department of Defense and the Navy. We can only base our speculation on what has been released to the public over the last few years through the media and what is public record. But documents in the United States Patent and Trademark Office seem to imply that Navy leadership knows that these technologies are actually feasible, or that they want us or someone else to think that they are. All of this has led many to wonder what exactly is going on with these patents and a multitude of questions remain unanswered. Are the Salvatore Pi's patents simply proactive, hoping to get ahead of the game for when or if these technologies actually become feasible? Or are they perhaps part of a misinformation campaign designed to lead America's adversaries on a fruitless wild goose chase? Or could they be an attempt by the Navy to try to emulate seemingly unexplained craft with incredible capabilities that its personnel have encountered? Could the Navy really be on the verge of changing human technological progress as we know it? Or maybe they even represent a breakthrough that has already occurred. But then again, could they be just the flimsy product of a persuasive and imaginative inventor and his gullible Navy bosses? Nobody except Dr. Salvatore Pies himself has the answers if he even really exists. But if this turns out to be true, the impacts these technologies could have on the entire globe are fundamental that could lead to a totally new era in human history. You don't have to be a UFO believer to openly discuss what's presented here, especially when there are declassified videos and documents out there released by the Pentagon and the FBI. So what do you think about these patents and why do you think this information is now coming out into the public domain? Do you think this stuff is in the realm of possibility or pure science fiction? As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Once again, we are at the end of the video and if you're still here, you are amazing. If you own a Tesla, get 10% off on your accessories when shopping at Abstract Ocean with the code EVSource. Also, don't forget to check out our merch store for shirts, hoodies, and more. And if you would like to show more support for the channel, consider becoming a patron and get access to exclusive content such as Q&As and behind the scenes. But in the end, the best form of support is having you watch and enjoy these videos. And of course, a shout out to our patrons you see on the screen and a special shout out to our power producer Inku Kang. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry and this is EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.